Today I'm going to be talking about what is RSV as well as a few nifty ideas on preventing this whole problem. Now before I begin, down below I am giving away a free a video based guide all about dietary supplements as well as some unique alternative medicine out there. Now throughout time humans have been fighting viruses. And lately, lately we have the whole Ebola one, right? It's causing a lot of problems. And RSV really is short for respiratory syncytial virus, which infects the lungs of a person. Do you have any idea what's so bad about a virus infecting the lungs is? Well, yeah, it's easier for the virus to spread in the air, infect other people, and cause all types of harm. Now, one of the symptoms of RSV is a cough. Uh, a big reason for a cough is mucus that traps viruses and, and bad guys. It kind of uh, well, the body's trying to expel that mucus, and that's a big reason why there's a cough. And uh, speaking of extra mucus, a person probably will have a stuffed up nose, another big old sign of RSV, as well as a sore throat. And a sore throat, of course, happens when the mucus kind of drips down from the nose and irritates the throat, it makes it sore. Now, other sign might be a headache, um, a fever, as well as just an overall feeling of not feeling very good. Now the good news is that the virus usually is not deadly. Uh, the risk for children are usually greater than adults uh, because uh, a child's immune system is not as strong. The reason why is because our immune system gets smarter by defeating bad guys. And it goes, oh, that's how we defeat it, right? And a child hasn't been exposed to a lot of uh, bad viruses or whatnot, so it's a little bit weaker in that regard. And that's really the, the same, uh, that's really how a, a vaccine works. It, like for, for example, the flu vaccine, someone gets a dead flu virus. So it kind of trains the immune system on how to uh, defeat the thing and recognize it, learns from it. Now, the bad news with the flu vaccine is that, uh, well, viruses can change and alter and mutate. And that flu vaccine you got last week may be outdated a week later. Now, the best way, one of the best ways to prevent RSV is to wash your hands. It may seem like a no-brainer. Uh, wash your hands a lot. Um, the reason this helps because germs are everywhere and touching things, like even my mouse, could transport, transport germs and viruses to your hand. And then you could touch different parts of your body and really that's how it could get inside you. And the face is really the weakest area. And, no matter how many times I tell myself, like, oh, I'm not going to touch my you know, my face, whatever, I, I always end up, like, somehow touching some part of my face that itches, and then I'm like, oh, why did I do that? So, that's another good reason. And a second idea to prevent uh, this infection would be, like, drinking water, which may seem like, okay, I know that already, but uh, according to Boston College, two out of three Americans don't drink enough water. You know, it's, it's big. And the rule of thumb is a person should drink eight glasses of water that have eight ounces of water inside them, the eight by eight rule. But of course, drinking 10 glasses is that's good. And water transports white blood cells to where they're needed. It flushes toxins, keeps the, uh, the mouth and eyes clean, which is big, uh, and give oxygen to various organs. And it's, this is why a big uh, symptom of somebody not drinking enough water is feeling tired and sluggish. So if you're feeling fatigued, well, try to drink more water, and who knows, may, that might help a lot. Now, if you want to get some more uh, really great ideas on boosting your immune system, doing things like fighting off cancer and some really interesting alternative medicine, I highly recommend you check out that free video guide I talked about earlier. Okay, it talks about this. It gives you some great ideas and tips on shopping for supplements. It really kind of simplifies herbal remedies, and it even talks about some... Um, some ingredients and a lot of health products that are bad that you should probably know about. So I know you're going to love it, a lot of great information, and you can get more information about this by clicking on the link below the video that I made for you here. Well, I hope that you might have gotten some value out of this video. I appreciate uh, your time. Um, and if you have any more thoughts on RSV, please uh, leave a comment. I, I really appreciate your feedback. And if you like the video, then um, I I would really appreciate a thumbs up. That would mean a ton of me. So please give me a thumbs up and have a really pleasant rest of your day. Bye.